So, I know we, I didn't have Fable watch the original Total Warhammer video, but we'll get to that. But it's just, it's long as balls, and he doesn't have that much time today, so... Yeah. Yes, this is an update to his video for Total Warhammer 2. But yes, I forgot to show it. Oh my god, I, for, I thought I put it in. There we go. There we go. No one saw anything or heard anything. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. If I may make a recommendation for a bot chat, if anyone's interested, I highly recommend uh, the Wings of Fire book, especially if you're into dragons. It's really fun. It's really unique. The world building, the world building is amazing, and supposedly there is currently a Netflix series in the works, and that hasn't been canceled already because that's <laughs> just what it is lately. Yeah. Because... Yeah, it's I, stupid. Com uh, uh, like Common says, big wigs are making the wrong choices. I completely agree with them. Yeah. Anyway, we're learning about yeah. some Skaven today, Fable. No, not the Skaven. Well, it's yes. that time again. A new a Warhammer is on the way, and I was given early access to it. However, this time things will be a little more complicated, because last oh, time the look. DLC reworked and focused on the Greenskins, the Warhammer 1 faction, Oh, there's the Grom the Paunch. Kind of, but this time you have the Skaven, who are now on their third Lord pack, Grom the and the Paunch. Red Lord rework is... Yeah, that was Grom the Paunch back there. ...focused around the Wood Elves, which oh are a God. DLC faction for Warhammer 1. It was easy before. If you own Warhammer 1, you can go back and play the new stuff in the big map. But mm -hmm. now we have a chart to look at. This oh, is dear. the official chart, and it's bad. It's unnecessarily unclear. And this won't be the last time I talk about bad clarity. So here's my professional MS Paint update. <laughs> you don't need to own the DLC for the free hero character, that's for everybody. There's mm -hmm. also another free hero character which is free with an asterisk because... Alright, you know yeah. what? Forget the chart, let me talk about what's new and scale up. I do love Warhammer Fantasy more than 40k because there's a lot more hope and I find it a lot more interesting because you can really choose a faction. Yeah. But yeah. From there. Just keep in mind that I have been given no patch notes. I love the lizard man so if you're wondering people. Things, but I'm trying my best over here. Oh dear. Okay, quality of life stuff. Some old bugs are Also for some reason around and the lighting remains. Also for so I will say one thing there is one Eldar group that has things in common with the or elf group that has its things in common with the Eldar for 40k and that's probably the high elves, but they're not nearly as stupid. Makes sense. And uh what were you going to say? Uh, because I refuse to follow the grim darkness of the 42nd millennium, mm. I, I want to say that the material that can be found on my... Um, basically, I want to say that my two chapters have somewhat of an ability to fight back chaos. Not really, like, Not like the destroy it, but kind, kind of like... I was thinking of literally giving the uh, Phoenix Knights a small mutation that lets them fight it back. And like well, this is just because I this is just because me wanting to do this and I don't really care for the lore in all honesty. Yeah. I don't the like being restricted heavily when it comes to this stuff. So yeah, in my head, in in my head, I just like to imagine that they have a way of fighting back. It's not perfect by any stretch of the mean, by any stretch of the word. Yeah. But Fire I just I just like when the idea that they have a better rock. chance fighting chaos of anything. That makes sense. The one big difference That's between forty K and Warhammer Fantasy is Warhammer Fantasy has ways to fight back chaos. And yeah, we're doing fine, Common. Hello. Um, the campaign was blatantly Hi, breaking in front of me, which I told people about. And that turned out to be a sign of a lot more being broken. There was oh. nothing to that level in any of the new campaigns. It could be the extra time this DLC took was QAing stuff, but yes, but he's homebrewing some Space Brain nice chapters, see, if you guys are wondering. It'll be touched up a bit more on release day. However, yeah. I do still have a personal book of grudges. Technically, I have four oh, things look. already. Oh, yeah, Why watch this. I forgot this in... Where, what did you say? <laughs> I, I basically said it was supposed to be one thing. Now it's technically four. It's technically turned into four things. Yes, he's making Inquisitor and Sisters of Battle now as well. I, I listen. I just helped him <laughs> with one thing, and then he splintered off and went crazy. Listen, my play my play counts are pretty much already finished. Okay, and and then I just like the fact that I can pretty much do whatever I want and not and give a giant middle finger to GW. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm, I'm a rebel yeah. without a pulse, okay? Shut without a, a pulse. Say. However, I do still have yes. a personal oh, of grudges. Oh yeah, watch this. Easy fight, He's easy gonna fight, and then he flees. What? 
Oh my what? god. <laughs> Look at how far he's fleeing! We had a trackable damage to see how truly effective <laughs> units are in combat. What? You can find yeah. them in settlements. I don't know, are. but it's Mortal hilarious. Federation's more manageable, and it brings us one oh step closer Lord. to region trading. Speaking of regions, Mortal Empires has some new ones. A part of the Darklands have been added, giving a brand new vertical passageway. There's a few more factions to encounter, and some hints for things to come. Also, if you play as Tretch from Clan Rictus, you have an undercity out in Crookback uh -oh. Mountain, meaning you can now take down the other, other Clan, Clan Rictus. Rictus. It's better than nothing. They give nice faction bonuses. Oh, oh, Clan oh right, the Chaos Invasion there. can be... Well, there's one Clan Rictus, but you, it's Skaven. You know they fight amongst each other. There's, if I remember oh. correctly, four Skaven clans. One deals with, like, warp shenanigans and praises, you know, the Horned Rat. One deals with chemical weapons. Another deals with mutations. And the last one deals with assassinations. And the assassins are like, all right, we need you to go assassinate this one, but then they assassinate each other because that's just what Skaven do. Or they assassinate their boss because they were paid off by another Nuker Skaven to do it. Another good addition. As for battle shakeup, <laughs> wizards are no longer afraid to nuke themselves. Skaven, There's no so minimum stupid. cast range anymore, so you can just drop a meteor on yourself if you want. There have also been changes. Skaven are goofy. They are basically the orcs score, of Warhammer Fantasy. Better. And foot lords won't be getting shanked yeah, and knocked down. Yeah, but unlike the orcs of Warhammer, they can literally Currently, take over the universe if they wanted to. For I mean, the same thing could be said about the orcs if they really put their brains to it. The idea is that this would be at the edge of a tree line. I get the concept. In real life, a soldier wouldn't fire his weapon directly into a tree from that close. Yeah. Well, unless they're a stupid, smelly rat. Stupid, My smelly is that some rat. Some projectiles fire way faster the rats. than others. The you rats. Know, compare a Giselle round to something like an arrow. Additionally, it seems like that there should be factions that are given more leeway, say like the Wood Elves. Also, weapons that should not have it at all, like artillery. For a brief, terrifying time, the artillery had this ability, but oh. it looks like they iterated that out. At Thank least God. I sure hope they did. Hiding in the woods already gave you some extra protection against range. This change That's will increase really advantage good. more, and I do see it as a positive. Emphasis on terrain nuances. I want to play this game no more, but it makes my I before. can't stream I'm it. I'm still waiting on weather I'm sorry. Like a proper combat. It makes my computer chug if I try to stream it. I love this game to yeah, death. No. Thing is, this, but my computer is crap. Change being on artillery would mean yeah, that counter artillery would be. There have multiple uh, units on the board at one time. The AI and you would have to have like a really decent computer being able to run this at all times. Apparently, uh, Cars is passing out. Check his pockets. Cars, why are you passing out? Oh, Cars, I'm gonna go watch the Deadpool movie today in like yeah. an hour or so. Yeah. Rude. You can't just blow uh, up the trees. Yeah, and destroy I saw the this cover. one. Uh, I saw this one YouTuber who actually was uh, playing this game. However, he had like a bunch of mods and stuff mm -hmm. that it was actually, and apparently, from what I understood, he had like a really decent computer that can run most anything. Even then, it was making this computer lag. I'm mm -hmm. honestly shocked. Am I? I'm honestly shocked this computer didn't crash from all the yeah. stuff he was doing. You have fun. To yeah, I I'm gonna get kind of Breaker Five. The problem is it's gonna be for PS Five cars because. Games, uh, the newer games make my computer chug and not feel good and start coughing at me. Yeah, because that'd be cool, actually. <laughs> it is possible as a bug or an oversight, but if that was a design decision, then I don't know what the Listen, thought process Listen, the people was. that made it weren't really? very nice people, and I didn't know anything about computer making. The difficulty buffs Aww. the AI in melee already pushes the meta very far towards range. Something like shield effectiveness going up would make sense to me. Mm. Seeing oh, the dwarves fire cannons through tree trunks really worries me. Okay, on to more fun stuff. Okay. Everybody gets the Skaven Chieftain as a free hero. He's a fun addition. He buffs units around him, but when he takes too much damage, he starts buffing himself instead. That's actually very Skaven-y. First he buffs everyone around him, then he gets hurt, and then he starts buffing himself instead. Very Skaven. It's official that all the rat heroes do not fit in one window anymore. They're doing fine, so enough of rats for now. Instead, rats. let's get into the Wood Elf rework. It's a oh. dramatic one, so buckle up. See, before the Wood Elves thrived by being aggressive expansionists, which, which is the exact opposite of what they should have been doing, sitting in their trees. Yeah, honestly, can you see Wood Elves in any kind of genre ever going outside of their forest, really? Fable? Oh no, Fable's dead. Checks his pockets. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. I don't know what happened. I didn't even touch my microphone, so there's no reason for it to do that to me. Weird, but yeah, what did you say? I I just said no. Yeah, I, I can't see the, yeah. what else. But yeah, uh, 
the Wood Elves in the game originally were aggressive expansionists for some reason. Which, uh, oh boy. Honestly, makes Some no sense. Out of trespassers. They also had units, buildings, and lots of technology restricted by an amber resource. This has been completely overhauled. Amber is rare and good for technology only, and they're powerful tech, so you do spend them carefully. Ooh. As expected from Wood Elves, your main objective is to heal a big tree. In the DLC, it's the yeah. Witchwood. In Mortal Empires, it's still the Oak of Ages. The, the Oak of Ages. Is a separate thing. It's not tied to a settlement level like it was before. Believe it or not, I did try. I do have a. We need a Fable Gun to break her for as well. We can bear, we can make make a bear. Why a bear? Well, that's a bear guy. It's not a bear mech. We need to get. I mean, I'm fine with playing it with you guys if it has crossplay. I really hope. But yeah, funny enough, I did play a, uh, for a uh, wood elf campaign as Durthu, who is angry tree beard that wants everyone to leave the forest now. Oh boy. He has a giant wooden sword. This goes for all magical forest settlements. There are a lot more of those now, so I'll try to make it less confusing. Some people have heated, emotional arguments over whether or not Huckleberry Finn is a high fantasy setup <laughs> because Jim has a magic hairball in it. I don't want to be there. None of you should be there. <laughs> so here it goes. So from <laughs> I can't, I can't help but laugh at that. A high fantasy saying for Huckleberries. Oh my god. Turn out the special campaign winning tree is called the Big Tree. The settlements okay. that help but aren't the main objective will be called Fancy Trees. The witch wood in the DLC is a big tree, but in Mortal Empires, the Oak of Ages is bigger. So using basic big tree logic, we now big know the tree Oak logic. is the big tree, and the witch wood is demoted to Fancy Tree. I'm gonna sneeze. This has been a long year. Anyway, healing any tree yeah. takes time. Naturally, Fable, say something while I longer. sneeze. You can create a building to heal it, but it'll be slow. Also, the settlement expensive. and recruitment it's buildings it's don't need growth, but the rest of them do. It's similar to it's a horde, but the buildings are just take a long time to grow. The most ideal way to grow I and heal wish your forest I had $60. is by being Jason Voorhees Park Ranger. The settlements are oh, the Jason are Voorhees Park Ranger. I the love that. Ones. They support and help your tree, oh, but only after being I passed. mean, that's basically what the widows are. They rarely don't attack... Like, it, unless the beastmen are there, they'll attack them and leave you alone, but otherwise... Justified. So, controlled by you or an ally, or burned to the ground. If you do control it, you can make an outpost building like before, but it'll mainly affect adjacent provinces. So you can help grow your main oh. structures, remove oh. corruption, etc. So for every turn one of them is pacified, yeah. it adds one health yeah, I don't to the tree's know what to say that. But some neighbors will really hate seeing that. This makes policing the area around your tree a constant goal. The more oh, forest yeah. heals, the more bonuses it unlocks, but there are additional challenges along the way. The more a tree is healed, the more the health will decline per turn. Control more of the park to stay above it. Sometimes regional enemies will spawn to invade a forest. Except unlike the stupid vortex ones, there's a timer, and you can see where they're coming from, and ambush mm. their army before it's at full strength. So they shake things up, but you have preparation time. The element stays as extra park ranger engagement instead of being annoying. On top of that, you have region-specific force dilemmas. They'll we'll also drag your health down by one and Wait, who's Saturday choice. gaming and what? Yeah, this is the first time I've ever heard of it. What? Sometimes they're internal, I'm but fine with gaming on Saturday. Around dealing with your neighbors. These can have significant diplomatic effects and can lead to unlikely alliances. Ooh. In one, I could help Dark Elves kill their escaping Greenskin slaves or help the Greenskins in a much harder battle. Right. So I helped the Green guys kill their ex-masters and one named Sporkticus. Did you see that? Sporkticus. Yes, he's orcs. the Orc Sporkticus. Okay, that's fun. Well, he waged guerrilla warfare against oh, the Dark Elves for the rest of the campaign. How about teaming up with Pirates? Are you not entertained? No, sure wait, I that's Gladiator. Seen. Uh, I am... Sp I... I do... I, I'm trying to do that in a Cockney accent. I sport a kiss. Not all of them yet, but they're fun and they add a lot of replayability. Now, when you fully heal a tree, you have to initiate a ritual and then protect it for 10 turns, which, you know, a lot of evasions pop up then. But if you complete yeah. it, you get a whole bunch of rewards, including Amber. You can then build a unique structure there if you want to, and more health goes towards the big tree. So managing fancy trees sounds fun, but they're just so far away. While hmm. starting off, you can teleport one army between the trees every 10 turns, but this yeah. can get lower. Taking a faraway tree just means deep striking I do that elves, angry trees, and whatever else directly on top of it. I've done this or before maybe in just the game. for an event to help heal the tree. Remember, the health is separate from the settlement. Your tree settlement can be burned to the ground, but the health will stay. Not like before, where it just meant that you had wasted a whole lot of turns. This is yeah, an outstanding system. Because now, instead of an aggressive faction, the wood elves play tall. At the same time, the teleporting and all the events mean they don't have the usual drawbacks of playing tall in a strategy game. 
You're not forced to fight the same enemy in the same area over and over again. Up yeah, across they the really made them very fun to play. creatures to get the hell off your lawn. <laughs> when the big tree final ritual is ready, you fight off a few armies, then a final battle, and then you're good to go. You could quit with a win or conquer the world since you have good rewards for it. Conquer Even the minor world. creatures from before are made more impactful, like the offices. They're different for each lord, like in the case of Orion to make his wild hunt event actually matter a little more. It's a fantastic mm. overhaul. I enjoyed playing them in battle before, but the campaign was a mess. Not I anymore. really need to get now back into playing them. If the talk shit, you can teleport right into his stupid tree. Say that to my face and not on the web. <laughs> I can say they're good now. And this comes from a place of not really caring or even liking the Wood Elves. With that in mind, I was surprised to see that they added a choice for people just like me. Yeah, for some reason, uh, Mandalore doesn't like elves at all. No one should like elves. Elves are gross. Why are they gross, Fable? <laughs> Elves are very hoity-toity. They're like, haha, we've lived longer than you, so that makes us better than you. Let alone the fact that we probably make more mistakes than any other race in existence, but we're so much better than you. It is kind of funny that you say that, considering what elves call humans mayfly. Yeah, see? See what I mean? Long Jeopardy doesn't make you better than anyone, you pieces of poo. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, sure that... This is Drycha. She has some pretty good ideas. <laughs> While Dorothy was unhappy with the elves, Drycha is actively out to murder them. She can only get some of their units, and they're under an effect called Glamour. All right, my, my vote's for her for next president. Why? The, the... Because she wants to murder right. the elves? Yeah, she knows what's up. Also, apparently she Washington can hypnotize they can them. Serving their queen and not a deranged tree spirit. Her combat uh, skills are weaker, but now not. all elves maybe are expendable. Maybe I'll deny my vote, then. She brainwashes the elves, so yeah. Perfect. To make up for this, Dreyche Wait, just through. because they're not- she's not killing morals, is that why? Yeah. Oh my god. Forest spirits. Stuff like mana cores or spiders Ooh, or mana cores. Anything that goes with the theme, nature is very angry. Angry about elves. This is Fable's the faction now. Altered, focusing on trees and forest spirits. It is my and faction. Because Fable is nature being very angry about elves. All of her tree units have frenzy and are pure evil. With a very nice color scheme to match that. I will say it is a very nice purple color scheme. Including the lords and heroes. The regulars can be upgraded with aspects, which is just the green skin scrap system, but it's nice. Dorothy gets it too. However, Dreitch's angriest tree is Koadil. He's mm. a legendary hero, a tree elder like Dorothy, and you release him through a quest battle. You break waystones in it, and breaking any object is pretty unusual for a quest battle. Once you smash enough elves, he is a powerful asset. Ooh. He buffs trees like you'd expect, but also has a mix of lore of beasts and dark magic, which is definitely different. His stats and abilities are absolutely, properly unique. That said, while I love his color scheme, I do find the model disappointing. I guess knowing his backstory, I would have liked something more ancient and twisted. Instead that of just a tree sense. man, and how come it's not an ancient tree man at that? Oh well. I also man. noticed a lot of little things tree that man. other races could benefit from in the future. Tree for example, Dreisha can get a different post-battle option specifically for fighting wood elves. Oh. Having stuff like this for rival races would be great. Oh, because she just slaughter she doesn't take prisoners, she just slaughters the elves. She has not like Fable is. What? What what happened? What about not slaughtering elves? Uh, she apparently, instead of being able to like take them capture, she can just slaughter the elves. Perfect. When dryads, oh my god, like a menace from below kind of thing. But and yeah, she that, can she summon elves, summon, summon tree degrading. spirits from the ground. I know had that for Krell, but wow, She's that should perfect. definitely be spread around more. The patch and DLC have a lot of new ideas for skills, oh and we do need those. As it is, going full battle or full campaign on a hero will max it out well before the level cap is met. God help us if they raise it. There are still some little things that stick out to me. I you love know, this game, but I wish I could play it more. Animation and sound, but then Orion is. That is weird. Hmm. I but love before this transitioning game, but I into feel the like DLC, there's also a Blade Captain here. <laughs> You, you feel like it needs more elf slaughter? There are three different factions of elves. The high elves, the dark elves, and the wood elves. Listen, Mac, that's three too many, right? <laughs> oh my god. It's three too they many factions right there, bud. Anti -large. If you have any wood elf content, you get them. If you own Realm of the Wood Elves, you have everything I just talked what? about. Dreitch is not Listen, with the new DLC. Listen, Common, I know what so I'm talking him. about. Pain being so different and interesting, the sisters step oh my up god. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, that's enough Wood Elves for now. Let's go to Skaven. Let's go bit. to Skaven. Let's see the Skaven Lord Fable. Which one? There's like Master 50 of them. His name is His name is Frot, Master Mutator, apparently. Why not Ick Claw? 
Oh, we could it could claws later. It could claw the Spider Mancer, whatever the hell he does. You don't even know what he does. All you know is his name. Because I think it's funny. And literally, I've only ever heard his name like once or twice before, that's why. Other than that, I literally know nothing about this game and heroes or anything. That's it. I know. What else for now? Let's go to Skaven for a bit. Okay, okay, fine, Common. I'll make you a deal. We we um we did all the elves and then we do like the Witcher and, and have them go to another spear entirely. Oh my god. Anyway, let's go to Throth. Throth, master mutator of Clan Molder. Clan Molder. He yearns to be free of his unnatural, undying. That's hunger. the uh, clan that does all the mutating stuff, right? Yeah, you can tell that because he has a third arm. Yeah, what do you, what do you mean? Oh my god. He, he looks normal to me. Don't be rude. And he has an undying hunger. This would be a certain remedy. He just, he just so needs a Snickers bar, out to okay? devour the Wood Elf Queen because he thinks that... Her... Also, is known as Throt the Unclean. Okay, to be honest, all these Skaven are dirty. That that doesn't really oh work God. that well with him. Also, he wants to devour the Wood Elf Queen because he believes that uh, that'll end his undying hunger. Flesh will cure his insatiable hunger. All right, I'm in. Uh, he just needs love the higher ups of Clan Mulder. Their right. specialty is mutation and other Nethercore yeah. experiments. They mainly do this to their own clan, but sometimes they'll go on a snatching trip. But what it's else? It's a World of Warcraft. No so they <laughs> Elf, what yeah. the hell? <laughs> he sometimes Certainly. gets animations made for these videos. Skaven. Look. Yeah, but they sometimes snatch from other races and, you know, do the thing. Oh, look. And that's late. Lisa Hylian, not an elf. What the hell? Basically man? the same thing. Look! Oh my God. <laughs> so this campaign is just about their newest conflict. They'll keep happening. Oh, brother. And Vortex Throt is yeah. out to stop the Queen's ritual. He starts off invading Nagaron so that he can get into the Witchwood. You can kind of see him back there. Yeah. This is a timed campaign. You need to take down special Wood Elf settlements to weaken Queen Ariel, and then defeat her in a final battle. With each destroy, the timer is extended, and you can fight her after taking down three. At the same time, electing to destroy more will weaken her further. Whether it's reducing Ward's save, her units, or her special effects, it'll tell you. It's a better time mechanic than the Grom invasion last time around, but I mm. don't have too much to say on it. It's... fine. The final battle's fun, it has some back and forth dialogue, some twists, and an objective that's not just kill the enemy army. It does have charm, sense. but it's nothing really worth spoiling to talk about. I guess it indicates oh, that boy. 3 could have better quest battles? As oh, for yeah. his general campaign mechanics, yes. they're a very different story. Ready Who's for it? I'm in my room. What? Okay, I gotcha. Uh, Mr. Furry Darth Sorry. Vader. Apparently you're referring- Sorry. Oh, no, no problem. Apparently, Kalman has referred to as Furry Darth Vader now. Why am I Furry Darth Vader? I don't know. Anyway. Combat, they earn a new resource called Growth Juice. No, I, also I, be earned from I'm just suggesting we have this uh, the convergence of the spheres oh, the and have the elves go somewhere else. The sand people. Oh, things like creating buildings, and it's all tracked in a handy meter up there. That's the growth vat. When it fills, yeah. you can dump it or let it keep going. Whenever you do, you'll get some units, and more powerful ones will come if you wait. Once the Molder Mice are all flushed away, they're ready Look. to recruit. They can be brought to the front lines instantly in their own special recruitment tab. So similar to the raise dead mechanic with extra steps. Dumping the vats also gives you a new resource called Mutagen. This Ooh. is where things get interesting. In his laboratory, Throt can spend this to mutate individual units. There's a tab for both infantry and monsters. Yes, his literal thing. Oh my god, Fable. His literal... <laughs> his literal can't campaign mechanic is mutating his own units. By applying the lower tier question. mutations, you'll eventually unlock the higher what? tier ones. You can't stack the same well, upgrade question, on the same... But to my understanding, Total Warhammer is, since it's a war-based game, doesn't it also take kind of like hours upon hours just to defeat one campaign, depending on how big and how many units are on the board? Yes! I, I wonder how someone would stream that, in all honesty, because I understand uh, sometimes streams do take uh, hours, but very, this very thing sounds like it'll take more than like, a lot of hours. Because when I first got my computer, I promised I would stream this game, and I didn't expect things to go badly, but I, it went on for like four hours. Unit, so you have to experiment. If not work, we eat thing. You can turn <sighs> units into glass cannons, create cloaking hell pit abominations. 
Hell, turn it undead, too. Why not? Oh my it's god. It's easy, and it's fun. Take a living thing's life and click I'm feeling lucky on it. Dump Costco portions of chromosomes right into their DNA. Things Dear can god. get out of hand, but some units are lucky. Costco the more the better, portions. Right? There is some RNG here. See, the more you mutate a unit, the more likely something will go wrong if you mutate it again. From there, it gets a little bit unstable. At basic instability, they'll get hurt down to about 75% health, but that's the price you pay when you want something to shoot warp lightning out of its skin. Of course, oh. if the unit becomes unstable, you can recycle it for growth juice. So there's an opportunity to get a tiny rebate back on your investment. Okay. Or keep mutating it. They get more unstable, but they're good at fighting when they're alive. Eventually, <laughs> this will reach a silly critical mass. You are now silly for not recycling the unit. But if you bring it to a fight... Oh. Look. It immediately... Jesus. Yeah. It was never supposed to live long. It you killed pretty good, but then it experiment. immediately explodes. There's always a new kind of mutant super Jeez. soldier to aim for and cook up. In fact, the lab itself can be upgraded after... The one the thing... They actually took units from uh, the tabletop for fantasy and made them into, well, you know, units in this game, which makes perfect sense. The one big problem with the Skaven is... Some of their weapons don't explode when they use them. Oh boy. Because in the tabletop when, uh, you know, you have a rattling gun or a warp fire thrower, they kind of the can explode. Times. What if the slaves in the vat dumps all had random augmentations, but you can't recycle right. them anymore? Well, say hello to the super slaves. Some even come bundled with the instability cancer. Free shipping. This oh my is a god. Great engaging mechanic. It's always on your mind when you play. I was sad but understood why Skaven artillery couldn't just malfunction and explode like the tabletop, but augmenting a monster army with a chance of them degenerating or exploding is very in that spirit. It's a blast to mess mm. with because there is some crazy stuff in this lab. It makes me wish the Ikit lab had something more like that. Oh right yeah, now it's Ikit the press claw. button to win faction. It'll likely stay that way. Yes, That's they have a Doom Builders rocket, which is focus. a nuke. Combine that with a new chieftain, and an engineer should really be a range boy now. I, I, oh, yeah, I just want to say, collectors. I do love the fact that normally uh, Warhammer Fantasy is supposed to be set more in a medieval kind of time, uh, and yet somehow these Gaven have access to weapons and exploding nukes. Yeah. I will say one thing, it's more it's less medieval and since they have guns, they have muskets and whatnot and cannons. Yeah, that's because it's starting to evolve into the Renaissance. Yeah, skills, but, well, but that's weird. Because Mortal everything. Empire start is even more Yeah, fun, I, so I just really want to say it's fa to I know it's fantasy and whatnot, but still nukes. <laughs> nukes and fantasy don't don't really <laughs> mix well to so be how honest. About the units? They do here. The theme is fast moving monsters, and it's nothing of too crazy. They do here. Wolf rats have the mm -hmm. same fast flanking mm -hmm. role as war dogs, but they have some armor piercing or some poison. Red horrors are also quick as hell, but they can stay in the fight longer and dish out more damage. If that wasn't enough, they're also a mount option for several characters. That alone means I'll be seeing them around a lot when I play Skaven. They're good, but a rat casting on top of them is even better. The mutant rat ogres are infantry oh, yeah, munchers, they're rat but I ogres. didn't end up using them all that much. Their armor <laughs> piercing could be good, but with mutations, what? I actually found other units to use. And they're not the rat, rat ogres. ogres. Oh yeah, th this is the guy I told you about. Gorich is a legendary hero, and he earns that title. He looks like he's escaped out of a 40k game, and he brings a whole lot of buffs to himself or his army. He does look like he escaped out of a 40k game. As, like, some deranged servitor. His defense may be a little weak, but he is an infantry lawnmower. He has the brain Dear of a Norsekin berserker shoved into a rat ogre. I was worried they'd make him a big, dumb, slobbering monster when he shouldn't be, like poor old Throg. But no, he has great lines. I serve vermin. I revere corn. But yeah, from what I know, uh, the leader of the Chaos Warriors basically killed him, and I think... The rats found him and basically used his brain and shoved it in there. <laughs> of course they did. Of course they did. Of course, of course they did, and somehow it makes sense. They do this kind so of crap Gorge all the time. The show, but there's so little more. Brought the immortal the words of God Howard, it just murderer. works. His anti-large can go sky high because he's basically bloat max bear mode. That'll happen oh. when you spend all day wrangling homunculi down in hell pit. He also summons rat ogres, so goodbye, backline. That's how he normally talks to people. Oh boy. Are you saying there's nothing wrong with him? Master Hero is essentially mini throt. He helps the good there's monsters so and beats up the bad wrong ones. He has some locked off skill options and summons wolf rats wherever he wants. It's not no. a huge roster shakeup or anything. It makes a yeah, monster viable instead of just handicapping yourself. 
So all is well and good except for one thing. Uh, readability. Scaven. AKA. Probably. This is something I would have brought up in the last video for the Warden they, and the Punch. Like I said, they, they go on a grabbing spree sometimes. Playing it during the early build. This for, is the final black from other races. This is what he looked like before. So when I saw these cards with the low resolution and the negative space up at the top, I thought, oh, these have to be placeholder. Especially since some like the Idol and Ranger looked fine. I legitimately thought they were a tweaked screenshot like in a model viewer or something they put a filter over. Mm. But no, that's how things are now. The muted space and negative colors are already a bad idea. But now let's yeah. put banners, augmentation levels, the filter for instability on top of it, and I can't tell what they are anymore. Unless I mouse over it, which kind of defeats the point. Can you guess which one of these is a DLC unit? It really shouldn't be that way. Also, the front-facing perspective most of these have is just bizarre. Yeah. Look how pronounced the weapons are in the regular cards. This guy in the middle here, that's a spear unit with a shield. I Here's can't tell that. I'm not making it up. Why would you profile a spear unit from the oh, front where the spear is shortened down and it doesn't look like a spear anymore? The card right next to it is doing so much better. Also, intensifying colors or motion or images in the background of the cards indicated a higher quality unit, typically. The lightning bolt dwarf in the middle is but yeah, they've more of a threat than the one done a lot of updates to this game, which makes it a lot background. better. Having a void conveys There's just still that. some problems Nothing. with Total Here's Warhammer 3. And Poison Chaos Hound. Let's Makes compare sense. them to the new Wolf Rats. The bottom of the card is where icons would pop up. Why are they so far down there? And their mm. profile is similar to the Brood Horror. In fact, it's oh. almost identical. Yeah, I'm not it speaking is. speaking as like a Total War snob. I've played a lot of games, and I'm saying, this is bad. There's already a mod someone made before release, which is so much better. I can immediately tell Wolf Rats have a War Dog role because of their pose. Everything's readable. It's great. I'm not sure why such a dramatic downgrade happened, but these are important. I'm not sure if it's a time or money issue or what, but it is not something to skimp on. It's probably a so place I really holder, hope those get fixed. Because I Look think at those horrible, broken, I horrific think abominations. Even you can see they have multiple rat heads on them, Pavel. So I had to mouse over near every time. Oh but enough Lord. of rats and mice. Let's go back to the wood elves. Anyway, time for wood elves again, Fable. The weave here is dangerously out of yeah. balance. Yet there is much prey. Glorious. Can you tell this Fable doesn't no like game, wood elves? Sister. We must prepare for Ariel's arrival. In both Vortex and Mortal Empires, the sisters have the goal of growing the big tree, then winning a final battle. I talked about that already. Yeah, oh, mm. I talked about most of this part earlier. Okay, oh. so let's go right for a special mechanic. The sisters themselves are a neat lord choice, two characters both sharing a mount. In battle, they're essentially a giant flying eagle claw. So they're strong, eagle claw. focus type, and are incredibly mobile. But yeah, they're After riding the on the back of a giant eagle. dragon mount and summon the mount you're not using in combat. So summon dragon or summon bird. The whole faction's focus is on buffing flying units. I do like those, pocket. like, literal antler, er, deer cavalry, or, well, reindeer cavalry, because it looks like it beats such a good idea in a fantasy setting. There's a volley of Kurnos. Some heroes get an arrow of Kurnos ability. This is a cruise missile. Even when Ooh. I wasn't using the new roster, it is a different playstyle. I'd rarely use flying units when I did play Wood Elves, so this was different. As for the campaign ability, oh boy. The sisters have the Forge of Date. To sum it up, Grandpa gives them four magical items. <laughs> After winning a battle in between two turns, the item can be upgraded. Either a good, permanent buff, or a powerful, temporary buff. Then it reverts back to the first form. Oh Every no. ten turns, he'll offer you a new item choice. You can choose the type of item, but you won't know what it is. Additionally, a skill can improve the timing of all this I by a little bit. Know. I'm a little upgrade tired, I'm items, sorry. Get more, upgrade them again, get more, and eventually you'll perfect an item. Hmm. You don't actually choose what to upgrade a blind man decides for you. So perfecting an item you like might be where things change. Because the next time the item is picked, the options become buff it for a while and start completely over, or do nothing. I actually moused over that because I thought it could be vigor or something, but no. It's just a legs icon because you're leaving. <laughs> I started to realize the more items I got, the less chance I had to actually upgrade something I was interested in. Because number one uncle decides for me. So if I had an item I didn't want to reset like casualty replenishment, it would keep coming up again and again and I'd just click leave. With yeah. the turn timer so short, this means this will constantly be happening. He'll eventually start running out of stuff, but then he'll just offer a quick army buff and that's it. Which is fine, it's better wow. than nothing. There are some cool items for the battles, but in campaign it starts bouncing between annoying and frustrating. Fable's doing a thing, quickly! The first is the interface. To start off with, high Fire the anti-Fable neck! The it's basically the invocation of Vol right, oh except God, for the worst. The, the invocation of Vol lets you mouse over and tells you what you get. Hiding it gives oh, you no Oh, it's just a net with a bunch of pepper on it. If you say I want my lord to do more damage, picking a weapon won't necessarily oh do that. A talisman could give you weapon strength, a weapon could just bound a spell on you. Unique items by their nature in the game don't have any consistency, which is fine. The most you can pick from this is which lord has an empty slot to fill. The choice keeps popping up, and the chance of it offering something you want get less and less as the game goes on. Events are already a blur in the late game, and this does not help at all. 
using mm. the dilemma event interface for this was a bad idea. Randomization so isn't there the a proper best fridge menu? thing Imagine when you want the better kept gear. popping up at you telling you to mutate something. It's difficult to visualize. Let's reverse that. Imagine the forged item layout being kind of similar to the laboratory, the mutant part up Boop. here. Do It'd do be bigger, of do course, do there are already do more do kinds do of date do weapons do. right now, but you could see an upgrade tree, maybe side grades, or the stuff that takes you back to the beginning. Have the forge visits be more spaced apart to make it more special, instead of every other turn if you're fighting. Maybe have some RNG, like tell Daith to do whatever, but you could come back sooner. Maybe have set bonuses, or the twins can equip an extra item or two, because mm. they're two characters. It's a solid idea on mm. paper, but like other DLCs and the Lord packs that suffer this kind of problem, it's an iteration or two away from being good. Remember when Ikat Claw got his lab and nuclear weapons, Ugh. campaign only units? Tehenuin got a sacrificial pyramid that could have had exclusive units. Funny enough, that apparently, if I remember correctly, there is a nuked out tree model if you use the nuke on the wood elves. <laughs> Instead, he got regiments of renown that other lizards can recruit normally, so it effectively gimped him. It would have been nice if they came back later to give him unique units, but they didn't. Instead, Ikat's lab got even more stuff. So at this point, I think this gave him Rattling actually Gunners, they poisoned more... wind mortars. Look at this crazy stuff. How, How many points to have you guys react to gu uh, Gundam Breakers 4 trailer? Well, release, I mean, I'll do that for free. For now. The Wood Elf rework is fantastic, but the uh, Forge by itself five is not good. Jillian and it's subs, frustrating please. because it's not too far away from being... For me, not for Matt. Matt doesn't get it. Wait, what? Well then, you know what? what you it did, Matt gets it. Listen, it's not my fault when we went by Wendy's that one time. You couldn't stop staring at the gun. No fair! <laughs> it's burning grip kills I'm sorry, I'm going you. to wait till this ends. This. Cars? This is a reaction. I you just put this in the recording. I love that soundbite, but you're doing this during a reaction. I'm gonna strangle you. Actually, I would actually like to see the Gunbreaker. Uh, sorry, Gundam Breakers Four trailer. It sounds interesting. We'll do a Gundam fact I'm after the video, guys. If that were the case, I would call the pack balanced. But this against the lab, I don't think so. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Cars. It's fine. It's fine. It, 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 uh, I made sure to stop the video, well, so it's fine. They'll the probably video. just skip past it. People don't like hearing me talk. It's an interesting. Okay, new roster stuff. The Wood Elf units are more <laughs> it's actually really than sad ones, to say. <laughs> you have the Blade Singer. Listen, I've learned that apparently I'm a very depressing person when I just say, "Yeah, I slept on a couch for most of my life. What about it?" I, I mean, that, okay. I highly doubt people are here for me either. No, honestly, I just <laughs> randomly talk about whatever and make really dumb jokes most people Here's don't get. No, but I'm saying that is, I've learned that my life is more depressing. It, I didn't, I've basically, it's one of those things where you realize, huh, I really am not that normal, huh? They have armor piercing, but also an ability that lets oh them my. do more base damage by lowering it. So they can easily... And I'm not trying to be death. depressing, I'm trying Results to say, wow. Fushigi balls are oh. magic lizards. <laughs> They're anti-large. I don't... Fushigi balls. They can hold their own in combat with just about anything. <laughs> their bound healing and defense spells also means I do kind of like their so designs, but they just look like giant lizard around. centaurs. The stag knights are a downright majestic they are charger. Just giant their speed and charge bonus though. gives them insane impact. But yeah, that looks cool. Long, yeah, they like look. shock cavalry should be constantly huh. maneuvering and cycle charging. But these guys might be the best at cycle charging now. Out of all the new units, these were second only. These look so the cool factor. when they're running There's into things. In the form of a spell weaver. It's a nice option for people who want a cheaper caster lord who's It reminds you of that one scene from on Samurai Jack. Front, we have Queen Ariel. I don't know what her lore is, but she's the queen. She's not the casting terror that Croak she is, looks but like she's a... up there. She has tons she of makes me think right of a uh, Warhammer, uh, war, a, a, a World of Warcraft nuclear, character, also a healer. with Overall, her coloring. I think the Wood Elves got more interesting units as far as playstyle goes. Yeah, I see stuff that. is useful, but because a lot of the this. coloring so in World of Warhammer, uh, World of Warcraft is very vibrant. And that's it. As far as recommendations go, this is tricky. Realm of the Wood Elves is pretty damn good now. If you already own this, you're probably in for a good time. Well, thank you for saying that. Oh, look, there he is again. But yes. Uh, thank you for saying I'm a pretty cool dude coming. Go for it if you haven't already. But if you only have Warhammer 2 and only yeah, want Wood Elves, I don't board. think it's worth it. Like you won't get nearly the amount of content that Mortal Empires Welcome has. Welcome back. Growing We're almost done with only three fancy trees just isn't as diverse. For Mortal Empires, you can teleport, so their start position doesn't matter. You can get it only for the new units and to confederate the new cool characters. Yet, I've always seen Wood Elves as angry trees and dickish archers. Mm -hmm. The roster already felt pretty damn complete before. So Look at all of them. But if you all those Wood Elves. Two, just get the old Wood Elves pack.
And there is yet another DLC oils, on right? the way, and right. hopefully it's the last one. Too Frankly, many. I'm too tired to bull rush into speculating because this was very short notice. So, come back next time for an atmospheric shooter. Yeah. Well, sort of. I do want to let this work for a bit. But yeah! Too I hope you guys like this video, even though we've almost doubled the video's length by talking about nonsense. You're welcome, uh, YouTube, if you like listening to me and Matt talk about nonsense. You can watch us live if you're ever free, or you can watch yeah. me live. I I have no schedule anymore, because I am apparently not a schedulable person. Listen, every time... That's not true. I just have trouble actually keeping uh, track of stuff. Listen, every time I see Fable just getting through by the planet, I have the ship lock onto him and shoot a net, and then get him into the ship. That's how this works. That's how we're doing this. <laughs> yeah. Fable, when were you playing... I don't know, Karst. I, I need to. I desperately need to. I also need to finish uh, freaking uh, Evil Within 2. I, and Fuga. I'll, I'll finish it. And, and Fuga. I gotta do too many things. Anyway, thank you all so much while Fable's freaking out in the corner. If you like us, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe on what you want us to react to next, and we'll see you later. Bye. Let me, let me